morning guys today I just wanted to do a quick vlog update kind of overall progress of um, my black on black and some of my recent thoughts on black on black etc um, I'll get into to begin with um, I had another black on black session last week I waited to post about it until it was fully healed this time because typically what I've been doing is showing off um, the black on black kind of fresh, like day after kind of thing. Uh, I wanted to go for more of a healed reveal this time because I thought it would be interesting to show that um, it doesn't change much. Um, I'll be posting, for example, pictures and a video of it fresh on my Instagram. Um, uh, it will have already gone up as of this video. Um, but... I just wanted to give a clear look at how things um, settle. So this is nine days after the appointment. So all the peeling has been done and I'm only five days away from my next appointment. Um, I added these spider eyes to my chest. You can see here, there's a bit of shine from the light, but um, we weren't sure how they were gonna do because my chest is one of the darkest parts of me. So getting a liner to stay on, on one of the darker parts of me, as opposed to my stomach um, or my hand, like the, the rose here, um, we weren't sure it was going to be possible. But as you can see, even with the glare, um, you can see that the, the liner still shows up. This is healed, so this is already peeled. Um, we, yeah, we weren't sure what we were going to have left here, but it was worth a shot, and... Because we were able to get this to stay, it means that there's just about nothing on me that can't take um, a black line over it. Um, as you can see, I'll quickly show off how my roses are doing. Since I've got the camera facing them currently. So that's the left one and the right. They're holding up great. Obviously the hand roses holding up great. This is now just about a little over four months old. So it hasn't aged really at all. It looks as good as it did when we finished it. So overall, I feel like the black on black is um, holding really, really well. Um, we also added um, a little bit more to the tentacles. Um, there's one new one here, and then we added one here, and then this is all healed. So I'll show off how all of this is healing, uh, or looking healed rather. So you can see it's still really crisp and very, very there still. But yeah, the black on black is healing really, really well. And uh, better than I expected, for sure. Um, I'm glad that I waited to do this video until it was healed. Because um, sometimes even when I'm like pretty sure that things are going to stay the way they are, um, I still feel like it's... Sometimes the proof is in the pudding, and it's better to show things um, healed than fresh. And I feel like a lot of the time, what's lacking in the, the tattoo world online is um, the healed picture. Like, I see a lot of stuff, I react to a lot of stuff on my Remy Reacts that is fresh, and I've never seen the healed version. And that bothers me. It's not because I necessarily think that things won't heal and stay, though. Like, um, we just did, I just reviewed, uh, the Souls of Feet. Um, I did a reacts to Souls of Feet. And I said in a lot of those, you know, it'd be nice to see these healed, because you never do. Um, and I think some of them do stay. It's just that the way that, um, Instagram and YouTube and all the other social media algorithms, um, incentivize things is the more likes, the, the farther they go. And, Things never look better than day one for a lot of people, even though I, I like things better healed. Um, day one's always trend. So I'm trying to, with this YouTube, really show off um, the, the living with the tattoos and what you're going to get um, long run so that people can have a better, um, more informed idea of what they're getting into um, when they uh, go for something like this, like with Fight Inc., Right? Like, I can show off how white ink looks, right? Because, like, a lot of times you just see the day one. Even there's a there's a page on um, 
on Instagram called White on Black Tattoos. And all you ever see is fresh tattoos. You never see anything healed. They even used to have a, a, a little like story tab where you could see some healed stuff, but they got rid of that too. So uh, that's five months now. So that's, you know, still looking pretty good. But uh, yeah, I've just, I'm wanting to show more what it's like to live with this stuff and um, what you're going to get long term. So that's where I'm going long, long term. This channel is a lot more honest content reveals and kind of showing how things heal and all that. So I think for now on, I'm even going to do these um, vlogs less like the day after and more like maybe a week ahead so that I, I can show off the healed stuff more than the, the fresh. Still fun, but to showing off the fresh stuff, but and obviously you're excited because you just got a new tattoo, but um, I just think that it's a more, more direct this way. Um, anyway, to get off that rant, another reason why I'm happy that I waited to, um, do this vlog is I just showed off the first tentacles, um, and I was really excited to show off how all of this stuff looked. Of course, you get, like, a lot of the comments that, oh, that's not gonna be there when it heals, and, um, there's not gonna be anything to show, you know, all that, when, even though there clearly is, and I've been showing, like, step-by-step step kind of, um, like, the, the roses on my neck and, and the rose on my hand and um, giving people breadcrumbs to see that this is not the finished product. Like, this is not um, where it's going to sit, what it's going to look like when it's finished. Obviously, all this stuff is going to get shaded. Um, so I've been trying to build that into the channel, like, show off um, the eventuality of Black on Black and what all these tentacles are going to look like one day kind of thing before I ever even showed them. I wanted to show lots of other healed stuff so that people didn't get the idea that um, this was going to be the sum of it. Because a lot of people, as I've said before, um, they see a picture and they assume that um, the lines, that's all it's ever going to be. Like, when in reality, these things take a long time to execute properly. Um, I was, I was interested to see what the public reaction would be to, um, my new beginning of my suit, because it's not, it's not, um, it's not often the world sees something like this, where you're doing something that is said to be pretty well impossible, or, um, like, when you do see it, there isn't much information around it, where I have a very open, um, platform where I discuss and explain a lot of how this works um, and people can interact with it. Um, so it was very different for me even. Um, you do have some people who question why you're covering the blackout because some people have become really attached to the blackout in the same way that they had become attached to my old tattoo suit. Um, but I think that the people who have been following me longest um, realized was that um, obviously Remy means to um, like complete this. Like when have I ever started doing something and not finished kind of thing. So the bones of the tattoo meant the completion of the tattoo in a lot of people's eyes. And it was really interesting to see the, the public reaction was very um, supportive, much more supportive than it ever was for any of the black work. It, it just speaks to me that um, a lot of people can't see down the road, like they can't see the potential of a project. Like, um, when I started blacking things out, it's as if people thought that that was the end, like that there would be no more, that there wouldn't be any white, that there wouldn't be any black on black. Even if I said that there would be, there wouldn't be. Um, and then when I seen those lines drawn on, um, with this last reveal, uh, it was like every all of that has changed, and even the people that were hating on the blackout, a lot of them have come around to it now. Like, oh yeah, it was a good idea. Look at this, because you're doing. It's like it's not a tattoo until it's something else. If it's just blackout, it's not a, a tattoo for a lot of people. So, seeing an image there um, for a lot of people meant that this whole journey is justified in their eyes. Um, 
Obviously, I also had another contingent of people who were more um, negative on it and more like, you blacked out all those tentacles and all those roses just to build more roses and more tentacles. Why? Well, because these are different, clearly, and uh, they're darker than my other ones were. And I just like them more, really. I just, I'm enjoying this this work more than I've enjoyed any other tattoos I've done, actually. The black on black is um, more interesting to me than any other form of tattooing I've ever done. It's also less pain, a lot less painful than the blackout has been, too. So um, even when you're going for a four-hour lining session, you're not getting the, the trauma or the beatdown feeling that um, I had with the the blackout sessions. I'm not going home feeling ill after, like I was a lot of time with the blackout sessions. So the whole thing, and especially taking it a little slower too, um, it feels almost um, relaxing and easy for me. Um, I would never have thought that I would be telling the world that I found uh, lining my stomach and ribs easy, but after the last couple of years, yeah, it is easy and uh, very rewarding too because we have most of the uh, background done already and there really is only so much different types of shading you can employ on a blackout realistically. Um, since we had the background done already, we're moving pretty quick through a lot of this because we don't have to worry about um, fleshing out the background that much. But I will say that uh, I'm just going to show again a lot of this stuff, the way we're going to shade it, is going to be through some really interesting methods. Like um, a lot of the shading in between and around the eye is going to be cross-hatched and dotted. Um, and you just don't see a whole lot of cross-hatching and like pointillism in um, t typical bodysuits. So it'll be interesting to see the effect that, that creates. Um, the next appointment... We will be blacking out part of these eyes. As you can see, I have the spider eyes here. We're gonna be blacking deeper black in the actual eye and just leaving the, the highlight, the old black, and eventually maybe um, using white to enrich that highlight. Uh, we're still talking about what we wanna do in the center of the eye, if we wanna do anything in the center of the eye. Um, we're not gonna do anything there until probably the end, um, just as kind of a finishing touch if we decide to. We're also going to be building more around the base of the eye itself, kind of like what we have up here, where we have the etchings that kind of build it into the chest. So there's gonna be a lot of depth built into and around the eye itself. Uh, a lot of people were always wondering why I kept the eye. And uh, it was always like, you blacked out so much, but you kept that eye. Why? Well, I think that that's probably going to make more sense by the end of this, right? It's going to um, have more context around it once we have everything built around it. Um, and I'm pretty sure this theme now is even going to carry out onto my arms. So um, this has become uh, a very... Um, organically, it's growing into probably something that's going to go all the way onto my arms and my legs, this same theme. And it's all going to be stemming off of the eye. So that's why I'm really, really happy I never did get rid of the eye. And uh, I kept it and worked with it and will continue to. It's still due for another session um, because it's become focal to my entire third body um, bodysuit project. So for people who like the eye, that's probably cool. But for people who don't like it, it probably irks them because there are people out there that think it's one of the worst parts of my bodysuit and wish that I had got rid of it a long time ago. But I can't please everyone, obviously, and I shouldn't even try. Anyway, I'm babbling a little bit. But... So yeah, um, going forward, I've got another appointment coming up in five days. Probably get to do another three or four hour session, get lots done. Like I said, some of the shading done on the eyes and uh, building some more tentacles and etc. So I'll be showing off another video soon about that. And uh, yeah, lots more progress. Lots of big, 
things coming, lots of cool ideas, and uh, really excited to share some of this stuff off. And hope you guys are enjoying this series and um, watching this black on black progress and uh, learning along with me. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.